Today's guest is my future husband. <laughs> You're right. <yeah. laughs> it's David Good, ladies and gentlemen, from The Bachelorette and The Bachelor Pad. How are you yes, doing, David? I'm awesome. Yeah, good. Good, day. good to have you here. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Well, David, one of the questions on Facebook, I did a posting on Facebook of any right. questions you have for David. Everybody always asks me, how'd you get on the show? How'd right. you get on the show? Well, people, everybody wants to know. Everybody people wants Facebook to be on the show. me all the time. Like, yeah. how do I get on there? How'd you do it? And I'm just like, I was just at a bar flirting with girls, and they were having a, a uh, scouting thing there for girls for The Bachelor. To be on The Bachelor, okay. and I was just there hanging out, and what, they weren't even looking for guys. They had like, girls lined out the building, and uh, I was just there, just hanging out. And they saw me; they watched me throughout the night. I guess two producers, and mm-hmm. uh, they came up to me and they were like, "Hey, would you be interested in being The Bachelor?" And I was like, "Well, what is it?" And they, they I didn't even watch the show. So right. I heard of it, but I didn't watch it. They explained it to me, and they're like, "It'll be you and 25 girls." I'm like, "Yeah, sign <laughs> me up. Yeah, I'm, I'm in." I guess you were single at the time. Yeah, right? I was single, so I was like, "Sign me up." Okay. And uh, so they did, and it came down to Jason Mesnick and I. And then they picked Jason to be on the show, and then I think the rest is kind of history. They asked me to come back and be on The Bachelorette, uh-huh. and then, so I did, and then I got asked to come on The Bachelor Pad. Well, I mean, they kind of made you look like an ass. They on did. There, you know? They did, but you know what? I, I don't got think to, you're an ass. I'm not. Five minutes I, got to re- I got to redeem myself on The Bachelor Pad. But they don't understand, like on The Bachelor Pad, that it's for money. And so you might look bad on the show because they edited you bad, but if you come back and you look good or bad on The Bachelor Pad, that's your real character. That's who you really are because they can't edit it. So. I got to really redeem myself, and you know, it's it's that whole. And you won a lot of money. And I won money, yeah, which is obviously a bonus. I have an aversion to reality TV, but I get sucked into like a lot of them. Are you really on there? I know you said you weren't really attracted to her in particular, but do you think the other people are on there really looking for love, or are I they think... just? Is it an opportunity for the next thing? They want people on the show that are there to get married because that's what makes their show. That's what makes Mid America moms jump up and down and you got the Me too. you know the unicorn and the you know I'm not a mom, you walk off in the in the sunset and everybody's like oh and then we go here break we go. up with our boyfriends. You're not right. treating me like Sosa right. exactly. was. <laughs> Enough yeah. about the reality shows. I want to know about you. What so do you want to know? You, uh, do you like older women? <laughs> <laughs> I told you he's going to be my future husband. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, there's a lot of factors that go into that, but yeah, I yeah? mean, okay. I'm single, so. Okay. Why yeah. are you still single? Uh, is because that choice, of my life's choice, my lifestyle is very, uh, you know, I'm all I'm scattered about, like I'm all over the place. I'm traveling all the time. And do you yeah. want to get married someday? Yeah, I do. I want to get married in the next couple of years, and I would like to have kids and the whole white picket fence. Well, we better get going because I've yeah. only got a few no, years left okay. on my clock before the, the kids start. thing. Can we start? Can we get rid of the cameras first, or? Do you... I think we should make another reality oh. show. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. So, Dave, you you wrote this book, uh, The Man Code, yeah. and. Um, in it, you talk a lot about your personal life and your experience growing up in a small town, your parents are divorced, mm-hmm. uh, and kind of how you were reared to have this philosophy that you have now about yourself right. and, and life, and, and, life and other men. And I got to tell you, I agree with it a lot. I don't know if it's because I'm from Kentucky or I grew up in a small town, but I started well, working when I was 14. Values. In your book, you talk about what the man called man likes in women, yeah. kind of in general, you know, there's some generalities going on there, some specific things, yeah. but um, what do you what do you like? I'm an ass man. <laughs> see? Yeah, see? Can you get that on camera? <laughs> I have a few little things that I like to do for guys, like kind of checking them out, because you guys check us out. Can you arm wrestle me? <laughs> yeah, I okay. think so. Now, are you going to let me win, or are you going to really do this? I'm not going to let you win. One, <laughs> two, three, go. Oh, you're pretty strong. <laughs> I, I, I can't let her, should I let her win? I can't let her win. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, can't, I can't let her win on camera. He There's didn't no let way. me win. We're going to do a couple of comments, questions here, and then we're going to sign a book. You want to give one of your books away? I do. All right, so one of the ladies says, sheesh, he's hot, OMG. I don't think she deserves a book because... I like that one. That actually has a really good comment. She should uh, get a book too. <laughs> he's hot. Not a good she should get a book too. <laughs> Hopefully. It's a she. It's a she, yep. Oh. I've been posting naked pictures of you on my I Facebook. Guess, okay, cool, yeah. <laughs> Those naked pics I sent you, you split them on Facebook? Know, oh. yeah. So part of your book that I like is that you give part of your proceeds to Stand, Stand Up, up to Cancer. cancer. Su2c.org. .org, yeah. And why did you decide to do that? My best friend, Rena, had cancer and I never realized how much it affected people mm-hmm. and I saw I've really never had any of my clothes go through that when it when it happened and then right after that my grandfather got cancer and then six months ago my father got cancer but hope you know my grandfather beat it and so Rena beat it and hopefully you know my dad beats it. David I don't have a rose for you but I was wondering if you'd give me like the last dance because I may never see you before our wedding. Yeah we can do that. <laughs>